Hey, how's it going, everyone? We're playing some more Sly Cooper 3. Let's see. Looks like we got a mission with Murray. So, let's go out and head out into the map and get it rolling here. I'm pretty sure we're... I think we're near the end of this map. I'm assuming so. We've had quite a few missions done. No, no, no. Don't load the job. Nah, it's okay. All right. Thanks to the bug in Toothpick's office, we have a pretty clear idea of what's going on. Toothpick plans on moving the stolen gold out of the mine using his special train. Unfortunately, that train is now also being turbocharged by our van. And need I mention that we're stranded in time unless we recover it? Well, anyway, it's useless to go after the train in the mine. Toothpick will have stepped up security since our escape, and the place will be crawling with guards. We're going to have to hit that train while it's rolling. But first, we're going to have to catch it. And we'll do that by diverting its route. After surveying the rail system, I've determined there are three key track switches we will need to throw. And Toothpick has entrusted the keys to three of his toughest henchmen. Wildman Wiesner, Frenchy Lestache, and Red Eye Robles. Furthermore, these guys keep the keys around at all times. The good news is that during the Toothpick Appreciation Festival, there are a number of contests, and all of them will be competing. Murray, I took the liberty of entering you in the Bare Knuckle Brawl Contest. Wild Man is the defending champion, and he's sure to have the key on his person. Sly, I hope you're feeling fast, because you're going to be competing in the crookedest race in the West, the Toothpick 500. Frenchy happens to be the defending champ, so it's a sure bet it's his time that you'll have to beat. Carmelita, you'll be up against Red Eye in the shooting contest. As the defending champ, he keeps the trophy close by, with the third key inside. Now let's get going. We don't have any time to waste. Alright, basically repeating the Jean Bassans a little here. We're just gonna play in a bunch of games. Okay, I wanna pick one of y'all up. No, 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 no. I'm not... Dummy? Look what you did. I don't even have to touch you guys. You just blew yourselves up. You guys are... Bro, that's not fair. How does that make any sense? Okay, well, all you're gonna die anyway. You would think that'd be illegal, though, right? Is that legal? Can I legally pick someone up? Ooh. Can I shake them down here? Can I shake them? Ah! I want to see if I can steal their treasure while I'm here. No! <laughs> I want to steal their treasure. Give me your treasure. Alright, maybe we'll just beat him up. I'm, I don't need to hang on. I'm doing just fine. I'm chilling, Bentley. I'm chilling. Maybe I can still beat. I can steal this dude's treasure. No. Maybe I'll steal your treasure. Give me what you got. Really? A nugget? Bro, get out of my sight.
I was beat him up. Mike Tyson's punch out. Oh, shit, he's fast. Uh, can I slam him? Ooh, he doesn't get affected by slams, it seems. Or maybe one, one hit at a time, then. Or maybe I just slam him? Ah. Oh, he's kind of good. Psych, I'm better. That's not a TKO. That is a KO. It's not a technical knockout, but... Alright. Alrighty. I am speed. Not a problem, because you know... Don't say it. I'm the ball. Oh. <laughs> yes. Time we'll try not to run into the laser. It's not a joke, dude. This is what the circus people do. I'm pretty sure this is an act in the circus, so... Not far off. Bro, I can't run through the spotlight, Bentley. Come on, man. Bro, we've been in this for two seconds. I'm going, I'm going, Bentley. My legs feel like spaghetti. Mom spaghetti. Alright, Bentley, you 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 get in here and do this. Faster, slide faster. Bro, you can't even walk. Don't talk about faster. Oh what up guy? I am speed. Oh yeah. That dude was wailing. Some fine shooting right there. Well, that's it, folks. Looks like this year's champion is going to be. Wait, wait, hold everything. We got ourselves a latecomer. Let's see what this pretty little lady has got. Well, what have we here? Little lady, I know you can't be here to shoot. Because there ain't even no man around these parts can stand up to me. That's sexist, bro. I can barely stand you myself. But if you're scared of losing, I understand. <laughs> well, I just won the competition, so you're too late. But I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. You just go right ahead, sweet thing. If you can beat my score, you get this here trophy. But if you lose, you gotta give me a kiss. What do you say? Aye, this guy's breath smells like fermented gym socks. Carbolita, we don't have... All right, I'll take your wager, but you better get ready to hand over that trophy. And you better get ready for some serious lip wrestling. <laughs> some macky. <laughs> lip wrestling. All right, bud. Whatever you say. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, I'm not supposed to hit those? Why didn't you say so? Yeah, absolutely no directions. Yeah, I was like, bro, I play Counter Strike. This is easy. Just have to keep my focus. Jerk how to shoot. This guy is as long as I know what to shoot. Bro got in my way. I'm throwing. Interpol for nothing. This is easy. 
Oops. Got a little too excited there. What the? Oh, this ain't happening. It's like some kind of magic trick. The only thing disappearing is your trophy, Red Eye. Way to go, Carmelita. Now grab that key. Yoink. Sucks to be you. I'll take the gloves off, my man. What time is it? All right, we got time. We got time. Arpeggio, leader of Mastermind of the Clockworks, sought to rebuild the clockwork for his own use. Hopefully, clockwork's still not around. Okay. Uh, did we get any more money? Can we buy anything? Oh, yeah. Smoke bomb. That's the one. Okay, let's go ahead and hit up this, and I think it's time to find the last two bottles. But I also need to learn how to use a smoke bomb. Is it in my gadgets? See, no, this is my costume. What is this? Ayo. Ayo. Okay, there is 29, so we got a single one. I told myself, stop looking in this area because it's definitely not going to be here. Well, look at us. Is that Murray holding up like an Atlas stone? What in the world? All right, well, anyway, I told myself it wasn't going to be here. Well, and behold, it is. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, you second guess yourself. Do I have to ride the train to get up there? Maybe. Do I just do a little hop to say, hey, yo. Okay, that makes a bit more sense. See, early, the only reason I thought I couldn't ride the train was because I tried riding the train earlier and I ended up just dying. Oh, and there's a collectible here too for me. Look at that. Thank you, thank you, game. I will take that. And I will take that also. Let's head over to the safe. Pop open that safe. And then we'll kind of get started with the final mission here. Let's see what we got. Oh, and I also, when I was Googling how to do things here, I figured out what the thing from the first safe was. The first safe was a coin magnet. And I'm like, what in the world? How, what does that do? Well, if you've been noticing, coins have kind of just been coming my way when I kill people nowadays. And I just assumed that was normal. No, that was actually what the safe did. Was it made it where coins came closer to me when... Or they, they came to me when I did it. So, that makes more sense. Bonk. Oop, other way. Bonk. And then this one's the... Oh, okay, there we go. Put in your 401k. Mugshot's coin. Okay, I don't know what Mugshot's coin does. Does it give me more money? Yeah, I have no idea what that does. I'll probably Google it at some point and figure it out, but for now, let's go ahead and do the final mission. I'm pretty sure this is the final mission for this map. So that makes me a little sad, but we've had a good time with the, with the guns. How you boys doing? Howdy. Howdy. I'm gonna get out of here. Okay, eyes front, everyone. The clock is ticking on this one, so we don't have time to monkey around. Toothpick's gold train is already rolling, and with the incorporation of our van, it's virtually impossible to stop. Thankfully, Tennessee was able to divert the train's route, which gives us the chance we need to catch it. First, Murray, you're going to get the van back. It's positioned near the rear of the train, acting not unlike a booster rocket. It's going to take your considerable fighting skills just to reach it. The catch is that it's being secured with a set of special magnetic locks, which can only be broken by someone of your immense strength. Once the van is free, you'll be able to catch the train and pick each of us up as we complete our tasks. 
Carmelita, you and I will tackle the next set of cars. I need you to use your peerless marksmanship and cover me while we make our way forward. It won't be easy. The train is crawling with guards, and they'll be gunning for both of us. Our goal is to reach a computer terminal near the middle of the train, where I'm going to do a little hacking. As we already know, Toothpick cannot stand high-pitched frequencies, particularly whistles. So I'll reroute the power and control of the steam whistles on the train engine. Something tells me this will come in handy when we finally reach him. Sly in Tennessee, you're up next. To ensure we stop Toothpick, we'll need to cover all possible escape routes. So Sly, you'll take the roof of the train. Tennessee, you'll move through the cars, where we should be able to reclaim your gold along the way. But your gunslinging will definitely be put to the test. You both should reach the engine around the same time, where you can take Toothpick down. The rest of us will catch up with you in the van. One last thing. Don't forget we're a team, and that's the only way we're going to be able to pull this off. Everyone needs to execute their part of the plan perfectly if we're going to get the van, steal the gold, and stop Toothpick. Now let's move out. Let's do it. Whew. There's all that binary roaming around. I wonder if that binary actually means anything. Someone translate, please. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Ooh, that's a fast train. How, how else would we end a Western episode but with uh, a little train robin? <laughs> Bro, why do you still have your gloves on? Okay. Why didn't you tell me quicker? Oh, there's. Don't. Don't. Don't do that. Do you want to... Do you... Give me your money. Give me your money. Give me your lunch money. <laughs> what do you got? <gasps> Is this the big... The Swiss cheese? No, that's trash, bro. I'm still looking for that tier 3... Uh, thing for this map. Bro, do you want to die too? S skirt. Alright, well, he kind of just killed himself at that point, so. One step at a time. Bruh. Can I Kobe it? Nope. Alright. No! Why won't you guys just leave me alone? I'm just trying to commit explosives. Very cool. Ye? Okay, Carmelita, we need to get to that terminal in the forward door. I'm just going to talk to the plenty of ammunition. Ye? More of an entry fragger in Counter Strike, so. Woo! Maybe not. It's a lot of coinage. Tell me, did mug did that mugshot coin double our coin output? What? What in the world is wrong with me? Okay. Why did not my what my first bombs not work? Apparently, I need to throw it. I can't drop it. Alrighty. Hey yo, we got Buff Bentley with his jeans on again. Let's go. This one's actually real fun. Oh, I keep forgetting, man. I got it after. After I get all of those bottles, I need to re-up the volume here. Alright, there we go. We gotta get some music going. 
I was wondering, I'm like, this sounded very, very quiet. Almost unnaturally quiet. Squish, 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 squish. Hack in progress? I want to get in there. Gimme, gimme. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, yeah. Yo, what up? The computer just said hi to me. I don't like that, that's weird. Not gonna lie, this try shot almost makes it harder to shoot. Because it feels like I don't know exactly where I'm aiming most of the time. Alright, we got two nades. Malfunction? Why? What happened? Let's go ahead and use a bomb there. Level 4, Ayo. Let's go ahead and grab this. Grab that too. I wonder what's the max level we can hit. Oh, we hit a bomb right here. Level 5, look at us go. Want to grab this other nade here. 7. We're going insane on mode. Dude, we're on level 9, we're absolutely cracked. Do nades do anything? Nope, apparently not. Should've used my nades earlier while they were still useful. Ah! I'm sad that they don't have another boss for this. I was hoping they'd have like a different type of boss each time, but I was too hopeful. Ah. All right, buffed Gene Bentley. Got some pretty nice jeans on. All right, let's continue with the mission. Beep beep. It's <laughs> poor ear holes, man. Yes. Okay, Bentley. Glad I could help out. Chugga chugga choo choo. Let's do this. We got a dead item? Oh yeah. This here robber is gonna be one for the record books. Right, we gotta wait for the dead eye. Ooh, that's a collectible. Oh really? On his what? Bang, bang, bang. Let's get it. His dog? 
Alright, bro. I don't even know what you're saying. Oh, he's got a cannon on him. Blink. Is that really, like, our priority right now? Is that really our priority? Well, I guess it's important to Tennessee, I guess, right? We just... I think we skipped a couple of things right there. Alright, let's see. What do? I'm guessing we shoot those. Oh, yeah. Or, hear me out, nobody takes the gold. His lollipops. There's a collectible over there we need to go get. Um. <laughs> Alright, Armadillo boy. Can we power up his cane? We can. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> Let's do it again. What if we... That's pretty cool. What if we just do the first one? Okay. Bing, bing, bong. Steal on more of the treasure? Sick. All right, slide time. Time to pay old toothpick back for stealing the gold I should have took. I'm gonna wipe that smug right off toothpick. We always go under the train. Any train game, you end up at some point going under it. Love to see it. Very cinematic. Why don't you bring your little runt self down here and take your whooping like a man, Sheriff? Toothpick, the fat lady is sung, and you are done. Oh, am I? Whoops. My gun. No. <laughs> Thanks, kid. Lou Paradox sends his regards. Adios, idiot. Relax, pal. I'll take care of this. As usual. Seems like Sly always has to do the, the hard part. Okay, now what? Oh, I got you. He's got to bomb those places. I'm confused on what I'm supposed to... Oh, that's not a bomb. That's a one of these bad boys. Okay, okay. I understand. I understand. Oh, that's not good. Yo, how about we don't do that? I guess we're in America, so it's appropriate, but... One more. Ah! He squished me with his butt! No way to jump these twisters. I'll have to avoid them. What? 
Am I supposed to jump or avoid? I can't tell. Bonk. Oh. I think I should have. It was a lot of fun, actually. No! I almost got Wombo comboed there. <laughs> the whistle! <laughs> Brett. I don't know what stunned them, but sure. Here we go again. How many bombs he throwing this? Let's do it again. Whistle. No squishies. No way to jump these twisters. I'll have to avoid them. Oh, twisters and whirlwinds. Okay, there is the difference in the wording. That's still be stupid though. <laughs> All right, here we go. We gotta hit him. Pop. Hmm. His poor ear holes. As usual. Yeet, but we also didn't get the cane back, right? So. Murray, hit the brakes. Let me guess. The brakes are cut. He got what he wanted. Sorry, Murray. This has to work. Hey, that's my necklace. Here goes nothing. Is we going prehistoric? What is on Bentley's neck? It's a prehistoric thing, right? It felt like we were in slow motion. The thought that our adventures were over flashed through my mind as I braced for the crash. Then, in desperation, Bentley grabbed the closest thing at hand, Murray's Australian fossil necklace, and used it in the time machine. He saved our lives. But now, we had no idea where we were headed. We held on as the Bentley sucked through the wormhole, tumbling around like a cork in the ocean. Who knew where we'd land? And more importantly, when? I mean, if we're going all, as far as Sly 3 goes, there's that big dude with the boulders. So we we know what guy. He's the big old dude, I think. Right? 
Dimitri once used the clockwork tail feathers as counterfeit printing plates. Sure did. Things weren't going very well. We'd landed somewhere, from the looks of it, prehistoric. I was slightly concerned when Bentley broke out the dinosaur repellent, but that was the least of my worries. The crash landing had damaged the van, so the time machine wasn't working properly. Not only was traveling back to Paris impossible, but we couldn't even raise Dimitri on the transceiver. Also, we still had no idea how the Paradox had managed to develop his own time machine. And that was a scary thought. Money. Carmelita was still really hot about things. I just wanted a chance to explain, to tell her how sorry I was for getting her mixed up in all of this. Before we had a chance to talk, she stormed off in a rage. I tried going after her, but I figured that wasn't the best idea. Our conversation would have to wait, at least until she holstered that pistol. We decided the first order of business was figuring out where and when we were. And then, how we were going to repair the van. Otherwise, we'd have to get used to living in a cave. Permanently. Yeah, that wouldn't be very fun. You got no grocery stores? Clan of the Cave Raccoon. Clan of the Cave Raccoon? Okay, Clan of the Cave Raccoon. Alright, cool. But, saying that, let's quickly check ThiefNet. And we can't really buy anything. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and end off the episode here. Well, mm, let's see. Can we head out with Sly without having a cutscene? Can we head out without getting a cutscene? Because if not, I want to run around a little while. My wife's about to get home. Okay, we can run around without a cutscene. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead, call it an episode. Probably going to run around and look for bottles. Of course, I'll record it. Um, but this episode's going to end here, guys. Thanks for watching.